Hello everyone, this is the Lego Detective, and this is the Lego Ninjago movie, Destiny's Bounty. This set is a gigantic set, set number 70618. It consists of 2,295 pieces. In this set, you get all six ninja with their hoods on, as well as Sensei Wu. This set is a really big set, and I'm going to break it down. I'm not going to spend too much time on everything, because if I did, this video could be like up to an hour long. I'm going to try to give every part of this set a good amount of screen time in this video and I hope that you enjoy this review. We're gonna start with the bottom of the ship and this boat has so many really nice building techniques especially down here getting all these curves in and on the side we have these buoys and lifting them up you can see all these really nice details such as this studs not on top or snot building and then going up, we have this piece over here, which can actually be moved about. And that just goes into this really nice sort of railing on the side of the boat. And obviously the same can be seen from the other side of the boat. Um, and this railing is really detailed, and it took a pretty long time to build, actually. And there is a bit of a gap. If you look on the top, there's a gap where this railing is. And at first I thought that that would be really annoying when I was first building it and putting it on. But then after adding so many of the other nice details on this ship, it really just didn't bother me that much. The biggest gap and the biggest part that I don't like is right there. There's a big hole there. And there are some other small little gaps up in other areas. But I really think that this is just a really well-crafted part of the ship. And also this bottom part is like you build all of this bottom of the hull within like the first like four bags and it's just crazy like I was having so much fun with this set already just by like bag three um but yeah this is just a really cool part of this ship looking at the front we have these two dragon heads as contrasted from the original Destiny's Bounty in the TV show which had only one but they're built very cleverly with uh, cupcake pieces for eyes and bananas for eyebrows the only thing I don't like about these dragons is the two sets of like empty studs right there. It just doesn't really look that good for me. Um, but the mouths on these dragons can open. And again, similar to these little railings on the side, this was a nitpick that I was really worrying about at first before I built the set. But I really am not too bothered by it now. And there's a little dock up here for a figure to stand. And it actually does hinge up and down a little bit so you can change the positions of this piece if you like which I think is very very cool and now we're gonna look at the masts and the first two masts um, sort of make up a dragon shape which I think is very very cool and sorry for the shadows I have only one lamp I'm trying to make it as bright as possible here so I do apologize about that but I think that they look pretty cool and you have a dragon flag on the top and then the third flag just has the symbol, and the symbol is actually the same symbol found on the Sensei Wu minifigure. And in between the first two masts, we have a little rope piece, the same piece as like the Spider-Man webs. And we have three lanterns and two flags hanging off of it, and I think that it just looks really nice. Looking on the deck of the boat, you can see a lot of cool little details such as a tea kettle and teapot right there, as well as some little crates which we'll look at in a bit. And we have two fishing rods um, right here. And we also, all, all over the ship, you have these little boxes with little plants. So it's kind of cool um, all over the ship. And there are some very interesting techniques, such as these pieces right here are actually feathers, and this little sort of vine looking piece um, or stem kind of piece is actually a cow horn piece. We also have lanterns all over the ship and over here we have a very simple mechanism to rise and drop the two anchors. There's one on the other side too but we'll look at this one and as you can see it just drops the anchor like so and then you can rise it up again and I think that that's just a very very cool feature. You can also lift up 
parts of the deck. This piece lifts up to reveal two golden sighs, and this other piece lifts up, and in here we have two golden katanas. Here are some of the little crates you get in the set. These two over here both have fish in them. This one has two silver fish, and this one and the other one has one silver fish and one orange fish. And this little barrel over here has a little soda bottle for a mini fig to drink from or use or hold. And the last one is my favorite. And inside here, you have what are supposed to be little Ninjago trading cards of NRG Kai and Sensei Wu. And they've been doing this for a bunch of um, sets lately. And basically, they're actually basing these cards off of the real life Ninjago cards that were released with the spinners back in 2012. I was trying to get these posed. And a few days ago, actually, um, my sister found a sealed pack of Ninjago cards from 2012 that I must have gotten it from a spinner and I never opened it. And do you know what's kind of funny? This card is the Sensei Wu, and obviously it's still sealed, but it's this card. Isn't that really cool? And I actually do have the Energy Kai card as well. Um, but it's in my Ninjago case, so, yeah, but I think that that's just a really cool little accessory, and probably my favorite accessory in this entire set. Going up to the main section of the boat, it's cleverly made with these garage door pieces, and you can just lift them up to get access to the inside. And actually, they show you that these, that this side of the garage door should be placed face up, Though, I feel like this looks a bit too mechanical, and I really like the smooth texture of the other side, so that's just the side that I use. But if you follow the instructions, then it will show you to put it with that side facing up. But, you have Sensei Wu at the wheel, and we have a pretty nice little printed compass piece, as well as a telescope next to him. And, taking him off, um, I'm just going to lift these pieces up. And inside we have a little table with the sexton. And we have a map showing the Destiny's Bounty, a bridge, which I presume is Master Falls, and the Temple of Ultimate Ultimate Weapon. And I feel like this will this quest or this map will play a role in the Lego Ninjago movie. Going around the other side of this ship, you can see how the sails look from the back. And they don't look great, but they still don't look bad either. Over here we have a flag as well as some little pipes and more lanterns and on the back of this main section we have a really cool looking gold window. Around the back of the ship you can see some little plates that say Destiny's Bounty which I think that these stickers look really nice. And we also have a little balcony kind of area with a pretty nicely built telescope and you can lift it down and you have space for up to two minifigs. And also take note that below that we have a pretty nicely built up rudder. Trust me when I can say that there is more to come. You can just lift this entire section off. And here we have a mini little dojo. In the dojo we have a brick built scroll which I think that it looks pretty nice. And it's a pretty cool technique for getting an open scroll. And in the corner, we have a little barrel with some weapons. Um, one of them has a little, like it's a blade on it. One of them has a claw on it, and the other one has a hook. We have a crossbow on this side, and a little lantern. On the other side, you have another lantern, as well as a holder for two katanas, and a training dummy. My favorite part about this dojo is that it has six studs, so that you can pose all the ninja in the dojo, just like in the movie. However, they are extremely cramped. Oh wait, there's more. Here, we have Sensei Wu's bedroom. This room is filled with Easter eggs. On his shelf, he has a family photo of ninjas, which is from the show, not from the Lego Ninjago movie, and also Garmadon's helmet from season two. On the wall, we have some weapons mounted, and here you can find a gin blade handle from the Sky Pirates wave of Ninjago. Also, you have an Anacondra helmet on display, and also a quill and a letter. But the main highlight, though, is the bed. You can just lift up the covers, and as you can see, it's pretty hollow inside. 
and you can just put Sensei Wu in just like so, and then close it, and it looks like he's all tucked in and sleeping. And I really like that feature, and it adds a lot of more realism to it. You can also remove the bed entirely. It's only attached by two studs. You can also remove a section of the deck over here, just like so. This is actually the bathroom, and we have a little ladder over there, as well as some more Easter eggs on the wall. We have an arrow blade, some vermilion armor, and two golden shurikens, which very well might be referencing the shurikens of ice. You can see we have a toilet with some toilet paper and a little button to flush, as well as a sink. And I think that it's very, very simple, but I think that it's kind of cool and funny at the same time. We're going to be looking at these minifigs in groups. Here is Kai and Cole. So just so that you guys know, all the ninja in this set, as well as all the ninja in the Lego Ninjago movie, have the two-piece masks, which I personally don't like too much because it's a bit of a hassle to, like, when you want to put on the hair or you want to take off the mask, you have to take off the top and then you pull off the head and you pull off the bottom part. So it's just a bit annoying. Um, but as you can see, Kai actually has some printing on the legs. It's a bit tricky to see, though it is a pretty nice print. And he has the scabbard with the two swords. Cole has his big uh, hammer. And I really like how it looks with the black, the brown, and the gold. A lot of the Cole minifigures use, like, black and silver or black and brown and gray. But I haven't really seen too many Coles with uh, gold. And I think that it looks really nice, especially on these little cuff prints on the side of Cole's arms. Here they are without any of their accessories. Kai's face here is very reminiscent of the original Kai face, and this is a really nice looking expression from Cole. I really would like if they did a more mainstream Ninjago set, like the TV show kind of variants of the characters, and they gave Cole an expression like that little smirk. And I also wish that they gave Kai an expression like this. We did get smiles um, from Kai and Cole, though to be honest, they look a bit funny um, for like the more normal Ninjago figures. But anyway, here's the back of the figures. You can see Cole's face is just a very normal looking Cole face, and Kai has like a nervous grin. Also note that in this movie, they gave him a little band-aid above one of his eyebrows. Here we have Jay and Zayn, and I actually just realized this, but there actually is printing on the bottom of Zane's feet, which looks actually pretty nice, um, to be honest. And looking at it, Nia is the only other ninja to have printing. But going around the back, you can see uh, Zane has the uh, quiver for the arrows that he has. And you can see Jay, he has the orange as an accent color, which looks nice, but to be honest, I just don't really like this J figure. I don't know. There's something about it. Um, tell me if you like it or if you don't like it. Actually, just what's your favorite ninja? Uh, mine is probably Kai, followed up by like either Nia or Cole. It's kind of hard to decide because I really like both of them. But Zane would probably be really close too. But his plant, his the his print is just a bit too bland for me. Like we really just have black, white, and silver and gray. It's basically it. Um, but I, I still think that it looks really cool, and I like how all the ninja look different. Here they are without their accessories. Zane kind of has like a clenching teeth face, and Jay kind of has a bit of a frowning face. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but Jay actually has little freckles. I hope you can see that, but I think that that's a really nice touch. I also like the blue eyes on Zayn, possibly giving a hint that he's a robot. And also the expressions on Zayn, they're both like very blocky, though Jay has a really nice expression. I quite like this expression. It's just too bad that the ninja mask covers it because I really like the way that that mouth looks. Also here's a better look at Zayn's back print. Here is Nia and Lloyd, and both these minifigures use weapons with a tassel piece. And also, both of them have new molds for their weapons as well. Lloyd has this new molded sword for the Lego Ninjago movie, which looks pretty nice. And the golden tassel piece just pegs onto the bottom. And now you can see it. Nia has a new spear. The bar in the center is slightly rubbery, but at the end, it's a pretty rubberized spear tip. 
just so that it doesn't break or so that it doesn't hurt someone. Um, I really like the amount of detail on both of these. Mia has printing on her feet for some sandals, and she also has a printed sort of uh, waist sort of skirt, like an armored skirt, and she also has printing um, on her elbows, and Lloyd um, also has printing on his back and his uh, his arms. It's like this really slight print with some little silver dots. Not yet you can see it. And that print is also found on the torso of Lloyd. Uh, there you go, you can see it. And yeah, these ready figures are both really nice. Here they are without their accessories. Nia has kind of a smirking face and Lloyd has like an, a raised eyebrow face, kind of like getting excited. Um, I, I do like the other expression for Lloyd. It kind of reminds me of the expression he has in the trailer when uh, Garmadon first finds out that Lloyd, that the Green Ninja is actually his son. And there's Nia's alternate face. It's pretty similar to the first face, um, but it's sort of like they turned this little smirk upside down almost. Very similar, though when the ninja hood is on, the eyes look almost exactly the same. There's just a slight difference in like the eyebrows and stuff. But, yeah. Finally, here is Sensei Wu. As you can see, he has similar sort of sandal printing to Nia, which I think is really nice. And also similarly to Nia, uh, Sensei Wu has a little skirt piece, which continues the print found on the torso. Um, I do quite like the print on the back. And to be honest, before I um, opened him up, him, ugh, before I opened up the set and built him, I thought that he was going to be the same Sensei Wu as the collectible minifig Sensei Wu, other than the fact that that one has arm printing and this one doesn't. But actually, this one is much different because it also has a different torso print on the back of the torso and also a different expression. And speaking of expression, here is the expression on the Sensei Wu. And because it's different than the one in the minifigure set, I believe that this is actually an exclusive expression to this set, which is pretty cool. The set also includes the ultimate ultimate weapon, aka the laser pointer. I'm just using this little rod piece just to hold it up. And uh, I thought that this sort of buoy piece was going to be molded in a pearl silver, though it's in dark gray. I really don't know why they did that. I really wish that they had just molded it in pearl silver, but whatever. Um, I'm not sure if they have it in pearl silver, but if, if it has been released in pearl silver, then I personally am going to order it and swap it out because the chain is pearl silver and we just have a little lightsaber bar to be the laser. And for a minifig to hold this, you just clip it on and it kind of is like a bazooka. It just sits over their shoulder, though it always like wants to move around because of this axle pin and it's, it's really annoying. Um, like, it always wants to follow this buoy piece, so if you have it, if you have it, like, leaned this way, then it'll stay like that, but once you go like this, the buoy, so it kind of, the buoy piece just leans over, and, uh, it's a bit annoying, but, yeah, I still think that it is a pretty cool little build. Here is a quick look at the front of the box, and here's the back of the box. Here are the instructions, and you can just see how thick they are. Just listen to the sound when I drop this. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, we just finished it. We finished the review of Destiny's Bounty. If you've stuck through the entire uh, video, this, like, 24-minute long video so far, then I congratulate you. Give yourself a pat on the back. And even if you didn't, I hope that this review was helpful in some way. To you and I'm very glad that you watched it this is probably no it's definitely the biggest Lego set that I've ever built with the biggest piece count and trust me what a build it was the build of the set is really enjoyable the price is a really great price it's $160 and yeah when I bought it the tax was like $15 or something um, so it ended up like $175 but the price is only going to go up on this set, in my opinion, and I feel like it's a really great set. I highly recommend it to you, and this would have been a $200 set, and if, if it was a $200 set, people would still buy it. 
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. It's been fun doing this review. It was fun building the set. It's a great set. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys, and I will see you all next time.